Okay, here we are, Young and his Reckless. Jordan Chain, our in-house expert, not in the house, uh, but joining us here from his training camp down in uh, sunny Arizona and going to teach us a little bit about some of the things we're struggling with getting in to the world of Zwift. So um, first thing we hear a lot of people struggle with, uh, oh, I have to ride too hard. I can't figure out how to draft. How do you draft? How do I get my our avatar to draft? So can you tell us a little bit about um, what are some of the most important things to focus on and um, what are some of the challenging things about drafting in Zwift? And uh, yeah, just an over, overview of how it all works. Yeah. yeah, so Zwift is unique in the fact that there's so many riders, whether you're in a group ride or you're just riding around, you are almost always gonna be drafting or going through drafts, moving one draft to the next. So it's kind of important to use to learn how to use that because it, it's just like in real life, it saves you energy and it makes you go faster. Uh, but it is different from real life in how you actually do it and how it works. Um, drafting on Zwift, you have to put in a little bit more effort to get into the draft of a group. It's going to be really important. You're going to see a prompt, uh, close that gap. It's going to show up on the screen, five meters. And you're going to have to push a little longer and a little harder than maybe you usually would on the road. Uh, to get into that and you'll feel it almost magnetically once you get into it pull you up and then you're in that draft and once you're in it you're going to save energy just like in real life uh, but to negotiate it it just takes a little more um, and because of the delay between the power going from your trainer to the computer to someone else's computer through Zwift there's always going to be a delay between you accelerating into the draft and it actually happening on the screen so it takes a little more care and a little more power uh, to do it, but it's really worth it once you do it. And one on Zwift that's different is it's called the blob effect. Very important. Once you have more than five riders together in a group, it's called a blob. And that group will actually travel faster than any of the riders would be going solo at that power output. It's a little weird, but that's how the physics work. And so you want to get into the blobs and you want to stay in the blobs. And if you get outside of the, if you start getting dropped out of that draft, it's going to be really hard to get back in because it's that much more accentuated, the speed of the, of the group. So it's a little learning curve, but um, once you do it, you'll go a lot faster in every aspect of it. And a couple of things you've said when we've talked before is um, right in the middle of the blob. Um, you want to find, um, find the place that's going to have you riding the least watts per kilogram, if you can, in that group. So talk a little bit about that, about positioning, how to actually do that. Um, we know that as cyclists, especially most of the people that ride with us, they are doing this for real outside. There are differences. You talked a little bit about the lag time. Um, but how do you get the savvy to actually be that lowest watts per kilogram person in the group? Okay. Yeah. And it's, it's, uh, you want, you never, you don't always want to be the lowest watts per kilo, but you want to have the option, right? You want to be good enough at drafting to save that energy when you need to. And so group riding on Zwift is probably the most popular thing going, uh, there's lots of group ride options we'll talk about later, um, but they're gonna they take the form of a blob. It's not like in real life where there's set placing and you go around people and things like this. It's almost like a washing machine. Machine. It's a churn of riders. You could ride through people, and it's sort of a little goofy that way. But you learn how to do it and save energy. So in real life, we often are told like try to ride at the front of the group, uh, move up to the front, ride in the top 20, the top five. On Zwift, you can't have that attitude because of that churning effect. You want to, uh, you're going to aim for the middle of this blob, and that's where the sweet spot is uh, for draft savings. That's where you're going to save the most amount of wattage and go the same speed, obviously, as everyone else. So instead of constantly trying to move up to the front, you want to try to stay in the middle and ease off the power until you start to look and your avatar is moving backwards, and then you add some. So instead of striving forward, you're just trying to keep up. And that's how you're going to save the most pow power is just is just feathering it that way. 
Um, and a cool feature is if you're in a formal group ride or a race, there's actually a placement uh, indicator on the top right. And it'll say you're 70th out of 120 or 200 or whatever uh, in the group. And so you can know how many riders are behind you and how many are in front of you and keep an idea of, I want to be roughly halfway. Maybe if it's, if it's really, uh, you know, fast group, I want to be a little further up, but you never want to be riding the front and trying to do that because honestly, unless you're doing an enormous power, you're not going to be able to, it's just going to turn you around. So that's how you save in a blob versus on, on the road. Yeah. And I, that's, that's so important. And I know some of the people that ride with us struggle, I think it's not that they, can't figure out the draft it's that they're looking at the list and you know they're getting just kind of mesmerized by where their name is in that group not thinking in terms of as you say somewhere in the middle of that especially if it's um if it's got a stay together feature right then um you're going to be much better off than always trying to be at the the top of the list kind of thing but i think it's human nature right it's our tendency to get into wanting to do that. Yeah. We should talk about the keep everyone together feature uh, and and also time trial bikes. Those are two instances where drafting is different on Zwift and actually drafting doesn't work. Uh, So when we do our tag Thursdays and our Sunday group rides, our classes, we keep a feature on called keep everyone together and it's like an elastic band so no matter how slow you pedal, as long as you're pedaling some power, uh, you will be in the group and stay within about 10, 15 meters of everyone else about the back, no matter what. So you're not drafting, you're not, and, and if you make more power, you're not necessarily going to move up. It's a technology that keeps people together. So I encourage people not to worry about their power and where they are in the group. Uh, you know, it's, it's like... A, a rowboat like you know everybody is doing the work together and it doesn't matter where you're sitting in the boat that's how you move fast together is 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 just working and you'll cycle through and on the screen and that's fine and then the other part the other place where drafting isn't a thing on zwift is if you pick out the time trial bike like maybe you ride a time trial bike in real life because you're a triathlete or whatever uh and you want to pick one from your garage (laughs) unfortunately you cannot draft on a tt bike on zwift (laughs) You cannot draft. Uh, Even if you get it right up behind someone, you're not going to save any power. They'll save power behind you, but you won't save any power on the TT bike. Those bikes will go faster if you're alone. Uh, They're more aerodynamic, like in real life, but you're not going to save any drafting. So if you're in a group ride, no TT bike. Don't do that. That's a bad idea. That's funny because we did have a rider saying he couldn't believe how hard it was. And knowing he's an Ironman uh, triathlete, we're like, Oh, what bike did you put in there? So there you go. Exactly. Well, thanks, Jordan. That's uh, that's really super interesting and helpful. So that's it for the Young and the Zwift list for today. And um, work on that drafting concept. It will get easier. It takes a little while. One of the things we talked about is uh, it's not... It's not just jumping on the trainer and it all falling into place right away. Some of the things that you will know from riding your bike outside are going to be a little bit differently applied here. So have a little bit of patience and uh, that's going to be, it's all going to come together. So thanks, Jordan. Until next time.